It looks like an epidemic, it behaves like a virus. That is memes, that's, that's the spread of memes. My first book, The Selfish Gene, published in 1976, was all about the gene as the unit of selection. The gene, the universal replicator DNA. I wanted to make the point that although DNA was the unit of selection in life, any unit of selection would do if it were a replicator that uh, faithfully copied itself. So I wanted another example. I could have used a computer virus, but I think they hadn't been invented then. So I used the meme instead, the unit of cultural inheritance. Anything that's copied, in this case from brain to brain, it could be something like a tune that, somebody, that you whistle and somebody else picks up the tune and whistles it again and then it spreads like an epidemic. Uh, blue tits, the birds in Britain, that learned how to open milk bottles. Milk bottles in Britain used to be put on the doorstep every morning and uh, one rather clever bird learned how to open the milk bottle and then it spread as an epidemic because others imitated it. That's a meme. Uh, a re the reverse baseball cap is a, is, a, is a meme. Anything that's imitated, anything that spreads by imitation. We talk about things on the internet going viral. That is memes. That's, that's the spread of memes. To the extent that some memes spread better than others, that's a kind of natural selection. So I wasn't really attempting to make a contribution to the study of human culture. I was rather attempting to downplay the gene as the only unit of natural selection.